Hello and welcome back, I'm Arumba, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in Crusader Kings 2. I've decided it's time to murder the patrician Vitali of Galbayo. Because... Because we can, mostly. Somebody wants increased council power. He's not happy because of reasons. Wants to be on the council, etc. Seems fine. So we've got like a 400% plot power potential to, to murder this Galbayo. Challenged to a duel by my furious wife, Theodelinda, my lover, Katerina, decided to admit her guilt and break up with me. Well, my wife's probably becoming less happy. Unfaithful, unfaithful lecher. Yeah, but, you know, the best the best children are, are born to parents that that fight a lot. That's, that's what I always say. Uh, so my former lover is lost to the nether. I can't find her again. Or she's in here. She's probably that one. Right? Why can I not try to seduce her? Probably because we already have recently or something? Like... Alright, I'm just gonna keep on seducing this one. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'll Google it between episodes, because I, I really feel like... We're not making very many babies. No one will expect foul play on our part. It's not like every patrician in the last hundred years has died. That wasn't me. That's 10,000 troops. We're defending in the hills. 10,000 out of a potential 22,848. Arriving on January the 8th. And uh, we can't, we can't retreat, even with Simone here. Well, let's uh, cross our fingers that these pikes do their job. How well have they reinforced? They're at about two-thirds strength. Um, let's try to coordinate this. You know what? No, no. I'm going to take the time to look this up. CK2 Italian Pike uh, Tactics. See what the composition's supposed to be. Okay, they're not good until the melee phase. Shield wall, pikeman, composition needs to be at least 20%. Shield wall tactic we like, it's good. The advance tactic is good for heavy infantry, which we would prefer not. Hmm. <laughs> I'm, what I'm trying to decide right now is should I be like balancing the retinue out across all armies or should I just have like a pure pike in the center? I want to try the pure pike in the center. It's probably the wrong decision. But I want to just try it anyway. So all pike retinues go in the center with no other support. That puts 2,000 in the center. Let's take... Some of these armies and balance it out. So, about equal. I want the guy with the highest overall marshal. He's got 32% defense. Alright, let's take the time to check and see if there's any other commanders we could appoint. Right now we got all the family members there, but let's like actually focus on like you know people who know what the hell they're doing. So defense. Pursuit, defense, ooh, experimentality is a gross one, no thank you. Let's go with you. Great if we had like a heavy foot leader.
All right, let's see how that goes. I, uh, I'm, I'm hopeful. No fingers will be pointed our way. Partition somebody inherited a city. Good. Can we get money back now, please? Powerful vassal. My cousin is the sus expected successor. We pull all money back. It's not quite enough. So we got a little bit of gold out of it. All right, I'm going to go down to speed 3 for this battle because this is going to be potentially either really good or really bad. I'm not sure. We do get a slight advantage being in the hills. Pikemen get a little bit more defense and attack. Archers get some attack. And horse archers get some stuff and things. They are still marching. And here they come. Ready and go. Boom. All right. So we're going to assess this. We got inspired defense. Holy smokes. Okay. So that's not us. That's them. They have Inspired Defense Tactic. They have a 11.1% chance of using that. We, in the center flank, maybe I should have let myself lead troops, actually. I've got 13. I also have 33% defense. Whatever. So we've got, uh... Generic Skirmish. It's the only tactic we're allowed to use because we have Pure Pike. But it does no modifiers. So perhaps we should have, like, at least 1% something to give us the bonuses like, say, shield wall tactic. Yeah, we're missing out on basically tripling, more than tripling the defense of the pikemen right now by not having a generic, anything but the generic. So that's a mistake. They're changing tactics in 11 days. I mean, we're probably going to lose a lot of troops here. We're also killing none because our pikemen do... Uh, they, they effectively do, like, no damage at all. Um, this is not the screen I thought it was going to be. Yeah, the damage is very, very small for pikemen in the... in the skirmish phase. I think we all understand and know how that works. We're killing absolutely no troops at all right now in that center. Alright, we confess our love. Meanwhile, we're just off shagging women. We're killing more than we're losing on the right and the left, but uh, in the center we're just slowly like losing a few trips. I'm, I'm just gonna do the let our love grow. I don't I don't care to keep min maxing this stuff. Um, that's our courtier who we can't. Seduce. Um, <laughs> yeah, you seem fine. You'll make for a good next one. Alright, we just need to get... There we go. So they've used the charge tactic, which gives their heavy infantry, their heavy cavalry, and their horse archers a bunch of stuff. The actual composition of the army, though, is... They have 22 special units. Heavy infantry, heavy cavalry. They've got 1,800 heavy infantry and 40 heavy cavalry. We are still stuck in the generic skirmish tactic for now, but we're killing more than we're losing, and in five days we can do these two right here. We've got pike column advance and force back. So let's see what we switch to, and this might be the thing that like makes or breaks this retinue as a, as a reason to build it. All right, so we are employing the force back tactic, which gives pikemen attack plus 240%. No defense bonuses, but yes, we do 3.4x multiplier on damage. We're killing 500 troops a day. And uh, pikemen in general... Forget where you could see the numbers. That's another army, but it's not related to our war directly. Hopefully they don't come and murder us. We are hostile to them. Pikemen in general have... 4.8 defense in the melee phase. So they have a lot of defense. Like the most defense out of any unit in that phase. Except for probably Heavy Cav. Actually, I don't know what Heavy Cav is. Heavy Cav might, might also have no... Uh... Is there even a location where we have any Heavy Cav at all? Can't see their numbers. Yeah, 
none of these armies actually have any heavy calves, so I can't see the numbers. Whatever. It's not really relevant to this fight, but, um... Cool. And then over here we're doing good tactics, sure, when I... That's fine. Knowing how this all, like, works can be pretty cool, but it... Yeah, <laughs> okay, it's... It's pretty good. Now we're doing Pike Column Advance, which gives 300% attack. 4x multiplier, slightly better than the previous. And we have a multiplier from flanking, so tomorrow's kills, 324. Uh, we are losing a lot of troops here. Bonus against four force back, 400%. They're using advance versus force back. Huh. I mean, that's a lot of pikes that are dying right now. Yeah, we got routed because of that, because of their bonus. And we might actually lose this fight now, because... They have a bit of extra morale. We're down to 29%, and we are going to get routed, I think. Let's control the retreat, try to go to here. We didn't get to control it. We lost 22 war score here. It's not ideal. Rain is mountains here. I forget how you see river crossings. It's just the straits. So there's no rivers nearby. So, yeah, um, I think that I should put some of the heavy infantry in the center so that we can get through the skirmish phase without having that generic skirmish tactic. Um, maybe what I should shoot for is just trying to have, the, like, the 20%. Like... This is, this is one aspect of CK2 that I actually personally don't like. The idea that, like, in order to really have, like, the best possible army, you have to not only know the numbers of, like, how the composition is supposed to be built, but then also, like, have specific flanks that are built. Like, this one's going to be 98% uh, pike and 1% heavy so that it can do the thing in the first phase. This one's going to be a different retinue with different things. Like, that's just... That, no. I know, it doesn't sound like I'm me here, because I'm <laughs> I'm saying that uh, I don't want to min-max, but you, you, you get what I'm saying, don't you? Do we lose any of them? No, they didn't actually die. Okay, these armies can all band together. Um, let's go ahead and reorganize this slightly for now. Let's make sure we got some heavies. That's our house army. I think we'll take the barony to the center. And we'll take that city over there. City over there. We could retreat, but I really don't want him to take back the war goal. Even though we lost that battle, we've got 36% from the ticking war score. And that's going to keep building up pretty quick. I'd like to just hold on to it as long as possible. Although he probably will want to come fight me soon. And of course the war could always end inconclusively. That smooth and slightly malty taste, refreshing with just the right amount of bitter. Ah, these monks certainly know the art of brewing. 20% chance to become a drunk. Or do we want to become temperate? I'd rather chance becoming temperate for the stewardship bonus. Rather than that little extra bit of learning. We can go back to speed 4 now. Yeah, he is going to be reinforcing faster than us, 80 per month versus 820 per month, so that's kind of scary. Um, I guess for now I will, like, retreat back a bit. I mean, I also, I like the idea of holding the mountains. So maybe not, maybe we'll just stay in the mountains. Trevisian's war for somebody's claim has ended. They are coming to fight us again.
This army is so bad. All these city levies, they're so weak. I think this is going to be another bad battle. And we have a few more reinforcements arriving, but, um... Your marshal has put forward a plan for experimentation with new military technology. Sure. Let's do the thing. We arrive on the 4th. I'm actually going to keep the levy, the, the boats raised, in case we lose this fight awfully. Alright, so this time we're in the mountains, which is even slightly better than being in the hills, of course. And now we are using shield wall tactic in the first phase, because we have that mixed levy. Which is clearly superior, I think, versus uh, just generic skirmish. Faint. We were winning until we had that bad, um, all right, charge of opportunity. Why in the hell are we doing a charge of opportunity with our pikelet retinue? Ugh. It's bad. There's force back. And we are, uh, doing a, whatever it's called, the, the thing where they can't use us more than the number of troops that are there, but no, we're gonna lose this fight horribly. So, yeah, that's bad. Um, we're in full retreat. Let's just try to control it. I don't think it's going to work, though. All right. Well, that that didn't work like at all. And if I if I let him unseach this, we'll lose the ticking war score and then we're just going to lose this war. I can't I can't reinforce fast enough. So, yeah. White piece, which makes us not hostile, which means, yep. Well, we learned a few things about the Italian pike retinue. It, it can be really good, but um, that 400% bonus versus force back seems awful. Really awful, in fact. And of course, the rest retinue got wrecked. Granted, it was only at two-thirds strength, so maybe. I mean, I could try to put together, like, maybe... Maybe we just do, like, a single heavy infantry retinue to try to... to trigger that... shield wall in phase one. And then... don't use a mixed levy so that it doesn't use the... charge of opportunity from having the light cav. Because we want to immediately move into the melee phase into the... the two that are decent. But... all this just feels so tedious to me versus just having a huge-ass army of infantry and light inf and, uh, archers. Just, it's just so much simpler, but um, I know, I know. There's always been posts on like, on Reddit and the CK2 forum, the CK2 subreddit about how, you know, somebody's got like 2,000 cataphracts or something, and they killed 20,000 troops, and that's cool, but it's also really, really, really expensive, and it'd be a lot easier to just have 50,000 troops because you have a huge, huge levy and the cataphract retinue is not any good at sieges once you're done with the battles and the huge huge horde of infantry is so i just find the value to be still strongly in favor of skirmish retinue personally based on a lot of anecdotal experience so anyway all right i'm gonna take it right here i'll be back in the next episode as always thank you guys for watching hope you guys are enjoying it and i'll see you next time